This is Dr. Jeffrey Van Thiel with Ortho, Illinois, an associate professor at Rush University Medical Center in the University of Illinois. The following video shows a technique for a posterior root repair using a NovoStitch Pro device. Not only is this a fun technique once you have all of the instrumentation available and ready, but it will also provide significantly improved results when compared to just a meniscectomy of a posterior root. There's good research that shows a high progression to total knee replacement and to advanced arthritic changes in the setting of non-repaired roots. This technique will allow you to both repair the root and improve functional results in the patient following the surgical procedure. In this case, there's a lateral meniscus root tear. Oftentimes, there's attachments between the lateral meniscus and either the PCL or the femoral condyles, so it's essential to fully evaluate that posterior root attachment of the lateral meniscus. In this case, there's a fair amount of instability of that lateral meniscus. However, in some cases, there's actually very little instability. We've identified the root attachment site for this lateral meniscus and are ensuring that there's appropriate excursion on that meniscus in order to be able to repair this back to the site. Using a guide, we've drilled a cannulated drill system up into that anatomic insertion site for that lateral meniscus which will then allow us to pass the sutures that we're placing through the meniscus down through the tibia for excellent fixation in that prepared anatomic insertion site. In this case, we're using a Novo Stitch Pro to do a modified double locking stitch through that posterior aspect of the lateral meniscus. This actually takes two passes through the meniscus, and instead of a standard luggage tag, it gives you two different points of fixation on that meniscus, improving the contact area and improving the overall fixation of that meniscus. We then have passed that loop out of the knee, and through that loop, we are now placing the two sutures that had been placed using the Novo Stitch Pro in order to create the modified double locking stitch. This will then pass the loop down into the meniscus, taking hold of that meniscus, providing a very strong grasp and repair of that meniscus in that posterior root. In this case, we're going to place two of these. I find that two modified double locking loops through one tunnel in the tibia is excellent fixation for the majority of meniscal repairs. In this case, I've done two horizontal passes, one more central and one more peripheral in the meniscus. It's essential when placing that second suture that you want to make sure that you don't cut through the first suture, compromising your overall fixation. In this case, you can see the two modified double locking stitches through the meniscus. This is then passing a nitinol wire through the tibia. I find that a cannula is a great way of avoiding tissue bridges and making this case go easier and smoother. And you now see the excellent fixation in that posterior lateral root with good integrity of the lateral meniscus. The Novo Stitch Pro and the Root Repair Set offer very reproducible ways of successfully repairing posterior root tears of the meniscus. Postoperatively, following a root repair, I limit weight bearing for the first six weeks with toe touch weight bearing, and I allow range of motion from 0 to 90 degrees. Following the six week mark, I allow full range of motion with full weight bearing with a return to cutting, pivoting, and impact sports at approximately three to four months based on the return of quad function.